Hi everyone, bit of a channel update to tell you what's coming in the near future. Today's video will be, finally, the Rexamex Mito uh, review. Unusually, I will start it a little bit back to front when I do get round to doing this. So that people who are not interested in pistols or particularly these guns, I will tell you my thoughts on this gun at the start and then after I've got all that out of the way, I'll uh, show you what you get when you buy one new. Right, a lot to get through, so I'll try and uh, get on with it as fast as possible. Um, I've even got some notes today that's unusual for me. I don't, I don't normally write things down, but uh, there's a lot of things coming up, weather permitting. Where I live in the UK, we've had snow in the last week. We've had really strong winds last few days. The last time I went out to the shooting club last weekend, I bumped into, well I generally bump into some interesting people with some very nice guns. So while I'm talking I'll put some on the screen to show you. Um, I, spoke to, I spoke to a guy called Glenn who had a brand spanking new Steyr Pro. I don't know all the ins and outs what model it was but uh, semi-automatic gun. It was his first time out with that one. Um, basically every time you pull the trigger it it shoots so many in a nice little magazine that fits in the end. Quite an expensive gun I would imagine but he didn't have much success with either of his guns I don't believe because it was really stupidly windy. Um, I think I only shot 40 pellets, 40 odd pellets myself. Um, it was just too windy to actually hit anything at 50 yards. So um, I did take a couple of uh, pictures of his guns. Um, he had a nice an Anschunt Entrance. I can never pronounce that word, but more of a tar target biased rifle. Very nice one. I was amazed at the size of the uh, focus wheel on the side of it. I've seen car steering wheels um, about the same size as that. Um, John has bought a couple of new guns and he's got one on order as well. He did have a Diana, I think it was a Diana model, yeah. I've got all this wrote, a Mod 54 Air King Pro. I did have a few shots with it, it was rough as old boots. John had a few shots with it, neither of us could uh, zero the scope in at 20 yards with it. A uh, very, very rough shooting gun it was. It went with a hell of a bang and it, it was just a horrible thing to shoot. Now I know they're not all like that because I did previous couple of weeks before that shoot of uh, Stuart's 177 which was fairly smooth in comparison so uh, John took that one to the shop and um, he put the money that he paid on that gun to order a new Hortizia Mark III. They're just coming into the country as we speak. So there will be a review for anybody who likes the Zabroya Hortizia Mark III. It won't be any good for me because I'm left handed. At the back of the stock is, uh, they use these funny sort of uh, long sticks to put your pellets in. I'll, I'll call them sticks. The magazines are long long thin things are not circular traditional magazines that go into the the actual breech of the gun uh, they fit in a little square sort of case on the rear of the stock which is where my face would be so never be any good for me to shoot but uh, John Locks is uh, is a brewer, so he's ordered a brand new one of those a mark 3 Horticia so we'll be reviewing that looking at my notes um, I've got my son's brand new Gamo Boxer ball put that he's had a couple of weeks. He bought it brand new and he, he was commonly shooting at a little bell. The size of the target is uh, the size probably of a two pence piece. At 50 yards successfully when there was no wind he hit it nearly every shot. So I've got that here to do a, re a review on whenever I want to. Um, John's Reximex Ixia and his Reximex Myth. Um, we'll probably do a, a team up job reviewing those and we'll have a shoot off with each other like the last video I did. What else? Have, oh yeah, he's bought, a, uh, he's bought a BSA R12 CLX Pro with a black pepper laminate stock. So I've got that to review. So uh, whenever I go to the shooting clubs and I see a nice looking gun, um, that I haven't reviewed. I normally take an interest. I'm, I don't, I'm not out to shoot people's guns. It's, I'm not one of them sort of people, but I generally ask a few questions. Here's a nice uh, HW that I saw, and I can't for the life of me remember the guy's name. I think his name was Steve, 
but um, I'll put a picture of that up while I'm talking. It's not the standard stock, it's uh, an aftermarket custom stock, which is, um, it looks like it's target biased, but uh, he said he bought it brand new and he's had it six or seven years. Rather interesting, nice looking gun. The, um, the breech, you can't put a magazine in the breech, it's, um, it's been sculptured the breech has been sculptured sort of so you can just put one pallet in at a time a single shot it hasn't got a re removable single shot tray it's got a kind of channel in it just to put your pallet in there so it's ever going to be uh, a single shot gun as it were but um, I, I quite liked it and it had, a gun like that would be right up my street because I prefer to shoot one at a time than uh, the magazines side loading lever it was a follow on a continuation of the hw 100 and it's the hw 101 so i was informed and i've never seen one before so i, I, I take it there must be a bit thin on the ground but uh, that's that one what else is a i'm sure there's a load more things that i've uh, i've got to discuss but i'll uh, loosely give you my thoughts on the Rexmex mito before I get into the uh, the full SP, um, I got this one for two twenty nine on December the eighteenth. I think it was delivered. It took about ten days to get here after I paid for it from uh, from Palpax. I like the walnut stock. I think it looks fantastic. Sadly, it doesn't like me. A very tall order for a company to produce an ambidextrous stock or in this case it's not a stock it's a grip to suit everybody's hands because everybody's hands are different now after I've shot 10 shots with this one of my fingers hurt me it pinches somewhere around here pinches this finger <laughs> that finger and um, it gets quite painful I know it sounds uh, I mean the gun weighs just over two pounds but uh, when you're holding it arm's length with one arm it, it pinches my finger I have had it suggested to me that I can get some sandpaper uh, and rub the various parts down so it uh, suits my, my grip better. But I didn't want to marmalise the gun. The gun is perfectly standard. If you take off the red dot side, put back on the front sight, which I don't rate at all. The open sights on these guns, are, I just don't rate. It's got like a pivot action. A pin goes through the middle of the front of the sight got two little grub screws one at the front one at the back and they're very difficult to adjust I just didn't get on with the open sights on the gun so I was forced or I would imagine most people are going to be forced to put a little red dot scope on or or something similar you will need uh, a suppressor if you live close to people because the gun is a bit loud but I suppose that's inherent of having a, uh, a short barrel 200 millimeters the barrel is um, there is a guy or what I found while I was scouring the internet who takes one of these totally to pieces. He's a Russian fella. I'll put the uh, I'll put a something on screen here so you can look up his channel. You won't understand what he says even if you put the subtitles on. It doesn't make much sense what he's saying, but you will see one of these get stripped down. I do think these are very well made guns. I've shot about. 680 pellets through this approximately 680 it's worked faultless never had a problem with anything i've filled it possibly about nine times four times of those nine times has been with a, a hand pump a stirrup pump um, because it's got a small 50 cc cylinder it doesn't take much to actually uh, get it up to i don't i've never took it to 250 bar i uh, i take it to about 200 bar on a manometer and from that I get about 80 consistent shots it is a regulated pistol two models it comes in this uh, this shape here if this was the black plastic is, is that the correct word to use plastic polymer whatever it whatever they want to call it this comes in two models it comes as this model with a wooden grip Lots of uh, the more expensive version of this, the going price for this is about £450. I got it in a special offer deal. And if you look on Pulpax, they've got them, they have regular deals on different things. So if you keep, keep, keep looking, you'll find all various guns at various prices at different times. So I was lucky to get this one for 229 and as I said, 
18 pound delivered to the door about 10 days later opening the zip case that I'll, you'll get I'll get on to show you in a moment um, I didn't get my hat but I did get one eventually I phone range right and says is it true you don't give these hats away anymore these peak caps uh, they didn't comment and say you don't get them anymore but uh, they sent me one in fact they didn't send me one they sent me two they sent me a crow one as well um, but what else is there to say about this gun this is removable the air cylinder I suppose if you bought another one went to a gun club or was out shooting somewhere you can have a spare full air cylinder so when you've depleted this one you can just unscrew this take it off and put another one on how much they are where you get them from I wouldn't have a clue uh, there is nice laminate coloured stocks they do about four different colours I don't know where you'd get one from if you wanted to change say this to one of those but um, as I say the S model the black plastic one comes with a a short stock that clips on there's a little button somewhere and it just pushes and just clicks on clips on and turns it into a carbine I haven't I haven't personally tried one but from what I've seen of other people's videos when the car when the um, shoulder stock is fitted you can't get your head down low enough to to see through the open sight so that you would have you would have to get an accessory sight so uh, the trigger on this one I've, I've fiddled with it five or six times since I've owned a gun and I did at one point with a gauge this is not guesswork with an actual um, stress test type gauge on the trigger I did actually get it to a one pound pull but I couldn't get a, a, a second stage it was sort of a one stage unpredictable trigger at a one pound pull rate out of the box mine was terrible I think it's hit and miss I have spoke to people who have bought these and the trigger's been fine uh, this one was terrible it was around eight or nine pounds pull weight and there's no way on this earth you could shoot this gun with one hand you had to hold it with two because when you went to pull the trigger it was that hard you pulled yourself off target I've settled on a three pound pull weight it's a nice second second stage very predictable um, what else is there to say it, the, the single shot tray it came with is okay but now and again when you drop a pellet in there it goes in back to front and then you have to fiddle about getting the pellet out and then correcting it and dropping it in uh, it did work fine but I didn't get on with it so I bought this uh, I bought this sort of lot it's, ma it's magnetic it, it'll go back up and clip in basically you just drop that down put your pellet in a little hole then back up close it there's nothing in there in this gun because I shot it before I started filming so I'll aim at the floor that's it so as I say I get about 80 shots out of it it does come with the adapter at the end of the barrel what you screw in the adapter is on the end of uh, the suppressor there it's quite a short suppressor it's about four inches long it's not a standard length one but uh, the gun is quite noisy it's no good me, shoot, me firing it off now because uh, through through suppression of YouTube and everything else you won't hear the real sound it makes but it's quite noisy if you live close to people you'll definitely need one of those but you don't get a suppressor you've got to buy one but you do get the half inch UNF adapter um, the barrel shrouds you can get different you can buy this gun with different coloured barrel shrouds it comes with I believe three uh, red one or blue one I'm not sure what the other colour is off the top of my head it's easy enough to take that off you just undo two little allen bolts in the top there and there on the rail the 11 millimeter rail and uh, slide that off that leaves just a little short barrel um, I'm guessing it would be very easy to spray that any colour you wanted to but the gun has been very reliable it's very uncomfortable for me to shoot as I say because of the grip pinches one of my fingers and I don't want to I don't want to start bodging I'm not a carpenter I'll end up uh, it'll look like a pig's ear roll by the time I've finished rubbing bits down to, I'm sure somebody who bought the gun is not bothered too much about rubbing the stock down to get it to make it comfortable I can understand but I wanted to keep the gun as the day I bought it I will be selling the gun or trading it in 
I can't afford to just keep buying a gun after a gun after a gun and doing a review on it so this one shortly will be going I don't know if whether to advertise it on Gunstar I want to buy a HW45 Virar that's the next pistol I want to buy um, I am building my way up to next year when it's my 60th all being well um, I'll be buying um, a Walther I'm not sure what the mo I'm not sure exactly which gun yet a star a Steyr or a Walther um, tar proper target pistol that they use at the Olympics because I'm really getting into shooting my pistols this doesn't cater for that because the trigger as I say a gunsmith could probably get the trigger to be as you require it I, I like a trigger to be very light so you just sort of like get past the first stage and just touch it and then it goes off some people would call that dangerous maybe talking of danger it's got a nice uh, safety switch at the side here positive click the gun has worked faultless through 670 shots I've never had a fault or a problem with it whatsoever um, like I say negative sides to me those open sides useless the gun is very accurate if you rest a gun at 15 yards if I take 10 shots with a gun rested they'll all fit under a 5 pence piece every time with no flyers and I haven't pallet tested this gun since I've owned it um, I asked the wife to buy me one second I asked the wife to buy me a tin of pellets and she came back with four of them, four tins of these. Um, the guy in the shop says they're brilliant, so she got, she got four of them, so I ended up with 2,000 pellets. So I can't complain, so for that reason I haven't, uh, I haven't tried various. I've got some other ones, flathead pellets, but I've never tried them. So I thought I'll wait till that 2000 goes first. This is the 177 version of the gun. Obviously it comes in a 2.2. What else is to say? Um, yeah. It's a shame really. It's 5.1 foot pounds. I'll put it through my crony. I did 10 shots. Added the 10 together and divided it. To, and then I got the average figure. And it turned out 5.1 foot pounds. So... For dispatching rodents in your garden or such like it's got the power um, if you hold it with two hands get a good red dot on there then it'd be no problem for me personally me I'm sure there's better people than me at 30 foot if I had to shoot a rat and we do get a regular uh, visitor in our garden it'd be no effort I'm pretty sure to get it square between the eyes with this gun every time that's how accurate it is. To shoot with one arm with your arm straight like that, after a while you tend to get a bit wobbly. In my case, after about eight shots, my finger starts hurting. So for all those reasons, I'll be getting rid of the gun and then replacing it with a HW45. And then I can do a review on that. I probably won't keep that either. It's an expensive game reviewing guns if nobody supplies them. But fortunately for me, I've got a mate called John who regularly supplies guns. <laughs> Uh, what else is it to say? We'll go and show you what you get in the box, and uh, that'll that'll be a wrap, as they call it. And then the weather permitting, as soon as the weather brightens up, Bob's your uncle. One more thing, as Colombo used to say. Well, I will have these open sights that I've got no use for. I bought brand new from Fiatchi, my channel sponsor come in a lovely little presentation box and they fit in there all neat and tidy and um, if I can actually open the box that's it and they come with a little allen key so you can adjust them I haven't got any use for these I paid £30 I didn't get a discount I paid full price for these I don't know how you describe these sites they've got a hole it, um, it's an aperture site Peep and see, I'm not sure people have various names for them, but that's the rear sight. And if you flick it round, you get a smaller aperture, a very, very small aperture. Uh, the front one is adjustable up and down, and it, it adjusts lovely. I have adjusted it. I did fit them to my gun, and I did shoot about three targets, but I didn't really get on, get on well with them. 
because I wear very focal glasses and I had to hold me at a particularly fully angle to actually be able to focus on the front sight. So just for my eyesight reasons, I didn't get on with them, but they're fantastically sort of engineered. They've got a nice black matte finish and um, I'll get these up soon for a competition to give them away to somebody. And Fayachi contacted me a couple of days ago and they want me to uh, do a review on some tactical accessories. I'm not sure what they are yet, so I'll, I'll have some more stuff to give away. Um, so these, these will need rails to fit 11, uh, adapters to fit 11 millimeter rails. Fortunately, I've got the pair of those as well. So whoever gets these sites, when I put them up soon in the competition, will get the, I'll chuck the rails in as well. They only cost, I think it was five quid for, for a pair of adapters, one for each side. So it fits on, uh, fits on 11 millimeter rail. Right, now that I've uh, bored everybody to death, I'll uh, show you what you get in the box when you buy the gun new. When you receive the gun, or when I received my gun, it came in this uh, cardboard box and within was this nice presentable sort of weird green coloured case that I, pre I presume is waterproof. I got it on a special offer, £229 from Palpax delivered to the door at a cost of £18 on top of the gun, £229. I got my model with the walnut stock, you can also get another model which is the S model with a detachable uh, short stock what turns the pistol into a carbine. In the corner of the zip up case you get a little plastic bag containing a rear sight, a filler probe and some o-rings and an adapter for your uh, moderator should you use one. Two nine shot magazines and there's the rear sights, comes, comes with a fixed one fitted to the gun and the adjustable one. I haven't found to be any good and this is the front sight that I painted blue. Uh, you get the single shot tray and a nice clear manometer underneath the barrel at the front of the pistol. But um, it's already got the cutouts in the bottom of the case for both models of gun for the for the stock. And there's the filler probe hole. And you also get a bag. Some Most people got uh, a peak cap. I didn't get one. I was told that uh, you don't get them anymore, sir, when I rang up and says, where's me at? Nice manual safety there above the trigger. Very uh, decisive clicking sound when you turn it on and off. All round, a pretty nice gun. So you're uh, kind of forced to get yourself a red dot or similar sight so that you can shoot accurate. The gun also comes with different coloured shrouds. I don't know how much they cost or where you obtain them. And also lovely uh, laminate grips that put the gun value up by about 50 pounds on top of the standard price. I've filled the gun quite a few times since I've had it with a diver's bottle and also with the stirrup pump. It's quite easy, doesn't take much work, it only holds a 50cc of air. You will very likely also need to buy a moderator or silencer, the adapter is included but not the actual silencer. It is a half inch UNF adapter so you're okay there probably best to get a shorter silencer than a standard one makes the gun a bit long it goes with a bit of a crack without the silencer so your neighbors won't be uh, <laughs> they won't appreciate you too much so probably best to get one right thanks for watching the video if you found it of any use or any help to you good and um, there will be a lot of stuff coming forthcoming as soon as the weather brightens up slightly it's uh, it's too cold, windy and miserable at the moment to uh, to go in John's uh, bit of land and do a bit of shooting. But as soon as it brightens up, I'm not on about full summer, but as soon as the weather is bearable and not so windy and raining every day, or, or snow, then um, I'll kick it off and start reviewing these guns. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Any comments I do try and answer, not straight away. But uh, I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Take care everyone. Catch you soon.